Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us live on Projan Media TV, wherever you are. And while tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kindly, consider subscribing and turning on the notification button for more of these updates. In a side meeting, President Museven threatens to arrest health officials, and this is due to Health Minister Jane Ruth Acheng, tabled a 1.2 trillion Ghanaian shillings budget that said would help bankroll governments to respond to the second wave of the pandemic, according to the sources that attended the sitting. Once again, thanks for joining us live on Projan Media TV. Uh, let's take more look into some of these details. President Museven has reportedly raised questions about the honesty of Ministry of Health officials headlining the fight against COVID-19. And he also threatened them during a cabinet meeting on Monday to arrest the thieves that interfere with the funds. At the side meeting, Health Minister Jane Ruth Acheng tabled 1.2 trillion Ghanaian shillings budget that she said would help bankroll government's response to the second wave of the pandemic and according to the sources that attended the sitting. Coronavirus struck Uganda in March 2020 and has, according to official statistics released by the Health Ministry Health yesterday, killed 2,000 people in the country. In the early stages, the health ministry was praised for their strong leadership and response that tamed the pandemic's damage in the country. However, the Auditor General later raised queries about the handling of resources for fighting the pandemic, spotted contracts prepared before signing, and reported about questionable procurements. On June 25th, on 25th of June, President Museven, during the fourth televised national prayer publicly grilled, Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Dr. Diana Atwine on why the 42,000 hospitals beds that he ordered a year ago were not in place. Dr. Atwine twice failed to directly answer the question and upon President Museven's third asking, acknowledged that they had only established 3,000 beds, and in an interview with this, uh, in an interview, Dr. Atwine said they had picked two local bed suppliers and delays in installation related to the difficulty that would be manufacturers face in importing required materials. This and other concerns such as oxygen deficit, exorbitant billing for COVID-19 patients by private hospitals unpaid health workers slowed vaccination and delayed COVID cash relief disbursement has talked public anger against the health ministry. Thus one so said, when Ms. Acheng tabled the 1.2 trillion Ghanaian shillings budget, President Museven, who chaired the sitting, rejected it over concerns about alleged irregularities and inflated figures. Mr. Museven, who informed ministers that he had consulted oxygen manufacturers in and outside the country, reportedly said the 4906 4, billion Ugandan shillings quoted in Dr. Acheng's budget for installation of oxygen plants was at variance with prevailing pre-market prices. Cabinet had that with 250,000 US dollars, that is about 889.8 million Ugandan shillings. An investor can establish an oxygen plant that produces about 500 cylinders of oxygen per day. The president, according to cabinet sources, instructed Prime Minister Robina Nabanja to meet steel manufacturers to under the cost of oxygen production. And separately, Finance Minister Matia Kasaija, in apparent response to the President's concerns, told colleagues that he had already written to the Auditor General, asking him to conduct forensic audit into Ministry of Health COVID Management of Finances, advanced for pandemic responses, and the report is expected in three months. The Auditor General, Mr. John Muanga, last evening said he need time to cross-check with the registry and promised to conduct the planned forensic audit into the COVID funds. 
He also said his office audited COVID funds last year and sent a report to the parliament. Dr. Acheng yesterday declined to comment on the matter. A day after this, a day after this source withheld the story in order to get her account. The new information minister, Dr. Chris Variomunsi, did not respond to our related phone calls due to some reasons. But here let's take some look at the previous budget plan of COVID-19 of last phase. Uh, in June, Dr. Acheng told the media that they would require 1.3 trillion Ugandan shillings to bankroll a response plan to COVID-19 infection and death resurgence. Of the total budget, logistics including testing kits, personal protective equipment, among others would get the largest share of more than 800 billion Ugandan shillings. Coordinations will be 12 billion Ugandan shillings. Surveillance will be 59 billion shillings. A laboratory will cost 84.9 billion Ugandan shillings. Case management 93.8 billion shillings. And risk communication will be 68 billion Ugandan shillings. Community engagement will be 6.5 billion shillings. Continuity of essential services will cost 114.1 billion Ugandan shillings. Strategic information research and innovation will be 70.3 billion Ugandan shillings. And vaccination will cost 2.6 billion Ugandan shillings. That is according to General Ruth's 1.3 trillion Ugandan shillings budget. The finance ministry a week ago announced 600 billion shillings uh, COVID intervention funds to be raised by slashing budgets of ministries, departments and agencies with 373 billion Ugandan shillings of the allocation expected to be disbursed this quarter. And according to, Prime, uh, according to Atwine, the money will be used to recruit critical care staff, buy extra intensive care unit beds, installation of oxygen plants and other logistical requirements but according to the source president didn't agree with the 1.3 trillion ugandan shillings budget given out by the health minister general Jen ruth acheng therefore he decided to visit nabanja he talked to nabanja to work on to check on the still so as to work on this uh, well that is it for now thanks for watching progen media tv and we'll keep on updating with more of this but kindly do one thing subscribe and turn the notification button all these updates will come to you in time